list shift indices. This is another pretty frequently used list manipulation tool. But like most things, we have to start with a point. So point by coordinate. So in this particular case, it's just the zero, zero point. And so we just leave the inputs as they are. But what we're going to do is create a plane. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to create a circle. And then we're going to use a different node than the circle node that we just used, just to show you a different way of doing it. And so the way that that circle is created is it needs a plane to exist in. So the first thing we have to do is create a plane. So we use the plane by origin normal. And so our origin is this point here. And the normal is by default a z direction. So that 0, 0, 1, that means it's in the z direction. So that's what we want. So we just leave it without anything plugged in. And then the circle node that we need is the circle by plane and radius. And so the plane is this plane here. And the radius is just going to be a code block. And we'll call it 50. And zoom out, holding the escape key down, you can see there is our circle, really big circle. But now I want to translate that geometry up. So we have two circles. So once again, another favorite node is geometry translate. And in this case, we want to use the one that has the x, y, z. So it's usually the first one that pops up. The geometry is the circle, and the translation is in the z direction 100. And once again, probably have to zoom out here to see it, but there it is. So now we have two circles, one right on top of the other, that are 100 apart. And we're going to place points on these curves. So the first one, we're going to say curve point at parameter. And notice you know, that the common set of nodes are popping up over and over again on these definitions that we're creating. And that's going to be the case. You're going to use a very common set of nodes over and over and over again. And it becomes much easier to use Dynamo because you're using the same tools sort of over and over again to create the same type of thing. And so here, for the points on curve, I want to put points on the original circle. So I plug that into the original circle. And then the code block is going to be 0 dot dot 1 dot dot hashtag 100. And plug that into the parameter. Now keep in mind, this is a closed curve. So just like with the ellipse, we're going to end up with two points on top of each other. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to ignore that. And we're just going to go with it. And then we're going to create points on the opposite curve. So I'm just copying that curve point at parameter. But in this case, we're going to plug it into the translated geometry. And so now I have points on both. Now, I can just plug lines in. So I say line, start, and end point. Now, I can just click on these points and click on these points. And I can just draw straight lines up and down. Big deal. What if I want these lines, though, instead of just going straight up and down, what if I want them to be at an angle and sort of look like they're rotating around? Well, in that case, you can shift the index from one set of points to the other. So we're going to shift the index on this series of points, the ones at the top. And so that is a node called list shift indices. And so I plug the list of points in there. And then you tell it how many you want to shift. So basically what this is doing is saying the point that's at the 0 position, it will move that point to, say, the 10 position or something like that. So in this case, we want it to shift by 30. And then we create a line coming out of this. And so we'll use line by start and end point. So we'll have two of these. So the end point is going to be the shifted index. And then the start point is going to be coming from the other circle that's not been shifted. What we get is a pattern like that. And so now, effectively, the 0 point on one circle is paired up with the 30 point on the other circle. And then it just shifts all the way around. But keep in mind that I did not eliminate that double point. So you can see it's a little hard to tell because of the resolution. But you can see you've got a couple of lines that are converging at the same point right there. See how it kind of 
gets blacker right there. That's because I didn't eliminate that doubled up point. So to eliminate that, we would have to do the list rest of items that we used on the previous exercise. And that's how you shift indices. And if you want to complete this, you can plug this in here. And then you have the straight lines as well.